Hi, Pastor Rebecca here from Duluth Gospel Tabernacle and DGT Kids. And it's a Monday. It's at 3.30 and it's Make It Monday. And um, it kind of took me by surprise. Don't know why. Mondays come every week. And um, I was thinking, oh, what are we doing? And then I remembered, oh, my favorite fall craft. I've been doing this since I was like four years old. So I've been doing this for 55 years old. So you're going to have fun. What you're going to need is some leaves. And I even try, I, I've got one leaf here that's not real, but I think it's going to work. You want fall leaves. So what's so much fun about this activity is although this is a really fun, um, this is a really fun craft. It's very simple. It's using a technique that I hope you do with your kids all the time. It's just a, a fun way to celebrate fall. So here's what I have. I have this. I don't know if you can see this. These are some pretty leaves. I just went outside at church, and so I got this little one. I love this one. And the color of them don't doesn't matter, but I would suggest that they're not really dry. You're going to want them to be still a little bit um, uh, new so that they are not dry. You don't want them crumbling. And then um, I've got some of these. And in the past, I've even used straight up green leaves. But all of this, and this is fun because this is a fun activity for you to just encourage your kids to talk about fall. And um, fall this year has been absolutely phenomenal. So you're going to want paper, leaves, and crayons. And that's it. And um, this is one of my favorite because I love crayon rubbings. And um, I often use crayon rubbings um, uh, for at Christmas time because we, and Easter because we actually use it as a way of like learning and things. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the leaf and you're going to put it under your paper, but you're going to hold this the spine up. So don't don't put it the the smooth way up. Put it the the bumpy way up, and then you're going to take. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take crayons and you're gonna rub them over your leaf. Now, I hope you're joining me, and I hope that um, you're doing this. Now, my guess is you already do this. That, that's my guess. But if you don't, or if you haven't done it in a long time, you need to know that, um, that I've done so many of these. As a kid, it's like my mom just made this something we did every year. And so what you're actually doing is you're making a collage, a crayon rubbing collage. And collage means that it's like a bunch of things put together. And so you're just doing different crayons and different colors. And um, it's, oh, look at this one. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. You're gonna want it, do you, and you can even hear if you have little kids, talk about the texture, talk about the sound that you hear as your crayons go over your leaves. Now look at that, look at that. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. And the, the fun part about this now, oh, I'm gonna do my big, um, oh boy, I don't even know if I can fit it in. Okay, so am I gonna turn this one upside down? I am. Okay, so I am going to do, and you know, you wanna use different colors. Black is a great color to use, brown, reds, oranges. It's so fun, and this is just something you can have fun, and you can make like tons of them. And then of course, you know me, every time I make one, I wanna share it, or, um, or make it into a card, or use Christmas wrap. Now, here we go with this big one. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Oh, it is working. Now, the key on collages is that now you draw over. Now, I don't know about you, but I, would, I, I am going to say that I like the real leaves better. What do you say? So I'm gonna take this one out off the table and I am going to get some more. Now, um, things that I like to do with crayon rubbings is I like to, um, this time I'm gonna put this one here, 
I'm going to put this one here. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. I love these little yellow ones. They make such good crayon rubbings. And now I'm going to take it and do this. Now, I don't know. Have you ever done the crayon rubbings where you take crayons and you shave them into wax paper? And then you do that? We'll have to do that soon. The, the, those are things that, again, that my mom did with me as a kid. And um, when I lived in a country where there were no uh, fall seasons, I remember just, you know, kind of craving, let's see, nope, over here, craving, oh, I love this little yellow. Oh, I just love it. You're going to love it too. Oh, and the little green one. Now, this one, I'm going to make monochromatic. Do you know what monochromatic means? Well, think of the word mono. That means one. And chromatic is color. So it means one color. I remember um, sometime in my 30s learning that sometimes you can you know, decorate or wear one color, but you do it all in different shades. And so it makes it really fun. So look at that, the leaves just pop right there. We're gonna try another one and this time I'm gonna try it and I'm going to um, be do it really hard. Now I wish that I had gotten a ton of these. So, cause these are like my favorite. They're just so cute, that and the green one. Now I'm gonna to try to get a darker color. I don't know if this is black or not. It is. Oh, and I need to let you know that um, if you have a broken crayon that doesn't have its cover on, it's really fun. Okay, so here I go. I'm just gonna keep scooting. Oh, am I gonna love this. I'm just scooting that leaf along. And having fun with it, just scooting it along. This is going to be, I don't know, I'm gonna to have to use it for something. I think that when we have our homeschool hangout pretty soon, we'll have to do this. I have a question, do you do stuff like this with your kids? I really hope you do. Um, again, just simple ways to engage. You know, dads can do this. And um, it's just such a simple way. Oh, here's another way I can do this. Instead of moving my leaf, I can move. Oh, take a look. Take a look at that. Now, look at this. I'm going to take that. I just, I just love that. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to make a card. You see? And I'm going to take it. and make a card. And there I have a nice little card. Isn't that cute? So, so today's whole, oh, I haven't done this one, so let's do this one and then we'll be done. But today's whole plan is just about enjoying fall and um, doing old techniques. So I'm sure you've done crayon wrap rubbings before, but trying to figure out new ways to do them. At Christmas time, oh, there's so many textures. The whole idea with crayon rubbing is textures. And do you know that God gives us textures in his, our lives? Not everything's smooth. Sometimes it's bumpy. But when you allow God to put the color to it, it becomes just a masterpiece. Doesn't it even say that he, in Ephesians, that he's literally created a masterpiece in us? So today, as you go outside, oh, I'm going to like this one. As you go outside and get your crayons, can you talk together as a family about how God, oh, I didn't even know that all of these designs was on this leaf. Can you talk to your family and, and just um, talk to your family about how God is making beautiful things out of the bumpy parts of your life? And, you know, talk about it. How has God, show, God showed up? And how has God revealed himself to you over um, the different years? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I really hope that you enjoyed this Make It Monday with, with Pastor Rebecca. Um, 
it's you know it's the COVID time and we're we're I I, I want to bring my C's out. I found them. They, I packed them away. And I just want to bring my C's out. Do you remember the C's? And during this time of COVID, we talked about that there are C's that we need to keep remembering. And this C, um, boy, do I have to do it this way? Let's see. If I do it this way, you're going to see it right. So I'm going to go like this. Okay. So this C reminds me that I need to continue to pray. And, you know, COVID's been around for about, what, nine months now? And we need to continue to pray. So don't forget to keep praying. This one is to control our thoughts. This is one of the big C's that when you start getting worried or whatever, you have to control your thoughts. This one is to keep connecting. And it's so nice now that we have a little more freedom. But don't forget to connect. You know, make cards and send them off to people. And then this one is for um, count your blessings. And oh, one of our, our crafts we're going to do real soon, you're going to need orange paper and you're going to need magazines. Again, something I've been doing since I was a kid and it just has such um, good memories of celebrating Thanksgiving and, and art. And then this one is Christ is first, stay clean, and remember, sometimes you just have to cry. Well, I hope you enjoyed Make It Monday. I hope you are remembering your C's. And I hope that you find lots of beautiful leaves to do your um, crayon rubbings with. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good day. May you be blessed today. And remember, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Thank you. Have a good day.